All right, let's start with getting a WordPress blog. First, you want to go to WordPress.com. And if you already have a username and password, go ahead and log in. If not, you're going to click here on the Sign Up Now button. It is free, so you can sign up and get your um, blog address and username and password. Now keep in mind when you set this up, this is when you put in the blog address, this is going to be what your blog is called. So just like mine's Kim on the Run because I didn't want it focused just on real estate because I'm trying to connect with my local people and I run so I, I thought that that would be a cute take on it. That's the name of mine. Um, then your username is going to be every time you log into WordPress, this will be the username and password that you use. So once you've logged in and and you've selected a uh, blog address to use. We will go on from there. And you want to go after you've signed in and go up to your blogs. And let's take a look at one in here. Okay, this is going to be what your dashboard is going to look like on your blog. So you can see on the left hand sidebar we have some uh, toolbar and that's where we're going to do most of our things and control panel. Anytime you want to take a look at what your blog looks like, go ahead and um, click on this or I like to right click and open it in a new tab so I can jump back and forth between tabs. But we can take a peek about what our blog, take a peek and, and look at what our blog looks like right now. So let's go back to the dashboard and I want to show you a couple different things. Obviously um, I teach an hour, you know, three day class on blogging. There's a lot to it, but we're going to just touch on some simple things. If you want to change what your blog looks like, you go into appearance and themes and then you can go through many different ones. There's 108 to choose from and pick what blog style you like. Okay, some are actually even claimed to be for a photo blogging theme, but don't get stuck just with those. There's a lot of good ones out there, and they don't even say they're a photo blog. They just um, come across very nicely. So choose what theme, what you want it to look like, and then all you're going to do is start your posting. To post on the computer, you're going to go to Posts and Add New. Once you have your box here, you're going to select your title here. Now, today I took a picture of um, a tree with ice, so I titled it Ice in Downingtown. That's the town that I live in. So I want to make sure and use those keywords whenever I can um, to help the search engines out. To upload a picture, because we're going to be talking about the photo blogs here, you're going to choose the Add an Image, and then choose your file. Uh, we'll just take one of Westchester here. Find where it's located. There's a picture of the courthouse in Westchester. I am going to change the title here because, again, I want a keyword in there. Westchester Courthouse. And then down here you're going to select Insert into Post. Obviously here we'll change the title to Courthouse in Westchester instead of Ice in Downingtown. <laughs> and then right below the photo, you do want to add some text. Here is the Courthouse in Westchester, PA. Of course, there is a new center around the corner, but some business is still done here. So you want to put some information in there. The search engines do like that. And then over on the right hand side you're going to select Save Draft. I always always suggest you save the draft and preview it before you publish. So on the right hand side you'll notice we have a preview button. So let's see what it's going to look like to our viewers. And I can see down here I have the title, the photo, and my text. Okay, so let's go back to the post and when I'm ready to publish you're going to hit publish. A couple things you do want to add. One is the categories. So we're going to add a new category here. I try to only have one, two at the most categories per post. Okay, so I selected add new category and then your tags. 
this is going to be a little bit more detail about what your picture is. So I'm going to say Courthouse and Westchester. Now you have tags and a category and you can select Publish. And then if you go to view your site, this post will appear. You can make sure it looks okay. And obviously, like I said, there's a lot of other things to do. These are widgets on the right hand side. You can customize those. But that is your first post. So you, now you have a WordPress blog and you've posted your first post um, using the WordPress blogging platform.